This tutorial shows you how to choose what happens when learners finish your online quiz. If your quiz is part of a PowerPoint-based e-learning course, you can branch to different parts of the course based on pass and fail results. To find out more, see the tutorial Create Branching Scenarios in the description below. To configure actions at the end of a quiz, click Properties on the toolbar and go to the Results section. You can set different options for pass and fail. For now, we'll cover the finish actions. Reporting features will be covered in other tutorials. When the quiz is finished, you can either close the browser window or send them to a website of your choice. Check this option to open the website in a new browser window. Let's say if the user passes this quiz about Orlando, we can send them to a website where they can get discounts to Walt Disney World. On the other hand, if they fail, we can send them to the Wikipedia article about Orlando to learn more. Now click OK. To see it in action, go to Preview on the toolbar. I've configured this quiz to let me skip to the end without answering any of the questions so we can see the fail result. When I click the Finish button, the Wikipedia page will automatically open up in a browser. If I had passed the quiz, it would have opened the coupon website. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.